everyone in this video i'm going to share with you how to reset your password change your email to log into your website so stay with me this is the phone version because most of you are using their phone so the very first thing you need to do is to log into your IGF account so this is an IGF account and then you scroll down up to this part here where it is showing your hosting so on this part here showing your hosting there is this button here of the client area so you click the client area don't click WP login click on the client area so when you click on the client area it is going to lead you to a page uh, looking like this so now when you are here you scroll down to the bottom part you will see a button written login this one here login to direct admin you can see it so you click the part written login to the direct admin when you click uh, login to the direct admin it's going to take you to the direct admin now when you are here you click on the menu which is here on this top right button you click on those dots there so when you click on those dots there when you click on those dots there it is supposed to take you to the give you the option so when you click on it it will give you these options now you scroll down to the bottom part when you scroll down to the bottom you will see this part here written php my admin php my admin so now when you are on php my admin that option there click it so you click it when you click on php my admin it will open for you um information like this so uh, when it opens for you and push information like this, what you need to do is to click on this. If it comes this area, maybe yours opens this way. You click on the arrow on the top left corner. You click on this arrow here. I don't know whether you can see. There's an arrow on this part here, which is more of like a, there's an arrow there. Can you see it? It looks so much smaller on the phone. There's an arrow there, which is more of a like pointing forward. Click on that arrow there you click on that arrow there when you click that arrow it is going to open for you a page like this yes so sometimes when you log in you click on login it can bring you here or it can show the other page so whichever case it happens the, the arrow will always be there so like in this case you see the arrow is on the top right corner that arrow there you can see it there yes the arrow there so let's say that is the arrow so the next thing you need to do is to click on the your username it will always bring in the username this information schema or oh, then below it there is the your username so click on that this button here the the one showing you is like in this case the username of this account is Liz Langi on example something like that if you're John maybe that is your username it will be showing John if you're Charles so basically it will be part of your name yes maybe your domain or your name your username so you click it uh, when you click it uh, it will open for you information like this so all you need to do is to scroll down to the last part written WP seven users or just look for the users it is the last thing on the bottom part you can see it over here Can you see it yes that one there the WP users you can see it there good so that is what you will click this one here the WP users so you'll click it when you click it um, when you just click it the WP users yes so now when you click it you want to see the other parts of the page so when you click it they you told them something have been opened but you're not seeing it so to see what have been opened click the top right arrow can you see it that arrow on the top right corner there's an arrow on the top right corner so click that arrow on the top right corner so when you click that arrow on the top right corner it will open for you a page uh, like this now this page here is where you can see the information of your website like you can see here there is admin as your username and there is a user password this is the current password to this website get the point that maybe there's a nice name there and the current email address this is the current email address to this given website and even the date the website was registered the domain and all that how many how many admins are there and something like that so we want to edit this information so you'll click on edit button so the edit button is here so you'll click on the edit button you can click on edit so click on edit so when you click on edit a page like this will appear so now on this page you can see like an example if you start with the user login user password username and all that so let's say you want to change the user uh, 
uh, username or the user login the username so you just scroll this way until you see the username is admin so let's say i want to change this username from admin to maybe uh lisla or something like that lisla let's say that is the username i want to use then the next same same thing i do i will let's say i want to change the password so you can see this is the password so i want to change the password so what i'm basically going to do you scroll to where the box of the password is so let's say this is the password so we want to remove this password that maybe we use this like an example for now so let's say that is the password you want to read to use right now so you can type in your password you want to use there and let it be something that cannot be guessed at least eight characters or eight letters you not me a bad one six eight seven and a bad one then the next same same options you will do if you wanted to change your email let's say you wanted to change your email the user email here you wanted to change your email the same same way if you wanted to change your email you will go check that uh, row the row of where the email is so just check that row then you scroll and where there is the email you change the email from the one which is written there to your email then when you have done doing this ensure that immediately next to the box where you have just changed and make any changes there is this box in the middle so let's say an example we have changed our user login an example we have changed our user login so after changing the user login in the middle here there is this boxes so this boxes here this is what i'm talking the same thing we'll do on this second box we, you click on that arrow there's an arrow the drop down arrow so you click on the drop down arrow and it will bring you this box here an example so you click on md5 again click on md5 there if you had changed your email the same thing will apply if you had changed this email you still click that box there and then you choose md5 so you choose md5 when you are done with that making the changes we need you scroll down to the bottom of the page and then you will see these buttons here so you click the one of go yes to save your settings so click the the one of go don't if you click reset it will reset all these changes yes so you just click the word of the button of go so let's click the go button so you click it and then immediately your settings are saved you can see now you see when you check here you have a new username md5 there you can see the new username you can see your new password there and then you can also see your new email here see that yes your new email there also shown there so now let's try logging in to our website using the current details so if you want to log into our website number one uh, the very first way to log into our website let's say uh, we open a new tab and then we open the website so the website if this is lislangisa.co.ke so when we open your website this is the domain lislangisa. maybe this is the website this is what we post now we want to log into this website you will type in the domain and then you add slash login yes forward slash login your domain forward slash login that way and then you load the page so when you load the page you will be led to this area now here we are supposed to put in our username and the password now because we had changed these details we can put in our username is Liz Langi, an example Lizla, and then the password we had put in as this is the password we had used then we just click on login now when you click on login you can see maybe the first time it is telling us maybe the user is not registered or something like that now let's try using admin an example as the 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 username and then we put in the password again put in the password we had placed there then we click on login uh, you can see it is still not logging in so it means there is an error we are done when we were changing the password so let us get back to our um where we were changing the passwords and then we click here on edit we click here on edit and then we go ahead and we edit our password and the user login here we remove this and we say it's lizla and then this part is password here we use this one here uh, that is the password and then we change the password here the box of the password to md5 an example the box of the password to md5 and then we scroll down and click on go to make save the changes then right about now let's go back and try logging in again you see the username we had said we had changed it to lizla and then the password here we had changed to that and then we click on login 
and uh, now we have logged in did you see that yes so the, we if we did a small error somewhere maybe it was not log now not logging in and you can see we have also even changed our our username so which also means one of the errors which you could have done was when we were editing this when we click on edit the only box which i'm supposed to you're supposed to put to md5 is the box of the password so don't put all boxes to md5 yes i did that to show you that not all boxes you put them to md5 i hope you are good now so this password will always be changing automatically so whenever you load this page you see a new password but that does not mean the one we set does not work no the one we set works until we come here if we come here and we don't change a new password and then we go and click on go the new password will override the previous one so this is where to change your details so you can see we have changed our username and we also change the password that is how to change the password from our account when you click on the uh, direct admin what we had clicked here the client area when you click on the client client area it have taken us to the direct direct admin so ladies and gen gentlemen that is how to log into your to change your password on to logging into your website so click the link below consider subscribing it is your first time more of these videos will be coming more often you're back at it again so thank you like subscribe and share this video with your team that they can also learn together see you at the top bye for now